Now, projects, I, I think, have several advantages if our goal is to teach thinking. The one, one is the advantage I've already mentioned, that the student themselves gets to choose the question. And therefore, they can actually perish the thought, do something they're really interested in. And it, it isn't rocket science that once students pick something they're interested in, they tend to do better work. Another advantage of projects, as compared to the standard exam, relates to the time we allow. Think about the average activity a teacher sets their students. Next week, I'd like an essay on Hume's account of free will. In two weeks' time, could you hand in your problems on the theory of entropy? Little bite-sized chunks. No time for the reflection that, that Peter and M were talking about. No time for the metacognition. No time for exploring and going down Brian Dalley's and realizing you've got to think again. Project work, typically over the course of weeks, months, or even a year, it gives you time. Time to think, time to reflect, time to rejig, re time to go back to your original question. You know, say, I, I didn't ask that question the right way. If I ask it a different way, it works better. All basically, time to do what we know once we get through the school system, we do in the rest of life if we're serious about learning. Time to think. <laughs>